Hello, it's me, uh, Lancer737, and today is March 4th, 2021. It's Thursday of the second week of Lent. And the reading that I'm, um, the, the the books I'm reading this from on the website is uh, United States Conference of Catholic Bishops. The first reading today is, Thus says the Lord, Cursed is the man who trusts in human beings, who seeks his strength in flesh, whose heart turns away from the Lord. He is like a barren bush in the desert that enjoys no change of season, but stands in a lava waste, a salt and empty earth. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose hope is the Lord. He is like a tree planted besides the water, the waters that stretches out its roots to the stream. It fears not the heat when it comes. It leaves stay, it, yeah, its leaves stay green. In the year of drought, it shows no distress, but still bears fruit. More uh, tor torturous than all else is the human heart. Beyond remedy, who can understand it? I, the Lord alone, probe the mind and test the heart to reward everyone according to his ways, according to the merit of his deeds. And the next reading... Um, is the gospel Luke eight fifteen? Blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield a harvest through perseverance. And the final reading today is the gospel Luke sixteen nineteen through thirty one. Jesus said to the Pharisees, "There was a rich man who dressed in purple garments and fine linen and dined." sumptuously each day and uh lying at his door was a poor man named lazarus covered with sores who would gladly have eaten his fill of the scraps that fell from the rich man's table dogs even used to come and lick his sores when the poor man died he was carried away by angels to the bosom of abraham the rich man also died and was buried and from the netherworld where he was in torment, he raised his eyes and saw Abraham far off and Lazarus at his side. And he cried out, Father, Abraham, have pity on me. Send Lazarus to dip the tip of my finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am suffering torment in these flames. Abraham replied, My child, remember that you received what was good during your lifetime, while Lazarus likewise received what was bad. But now he is comforted. Here, where you are tormented. Moreover, between us and, and you, a great chasm is established to prevent anyone from crossing who might wish to go from our side to yours, or from your side to ours. I said then, Then I beg you, Father, send him to my father's house, for I have five brothers, so that he may warn them, let they too come to this place of torment. But uh, Abraham re replied, They have Moses and the prophets. Let them listen to them. He said, Oh no, Father Abraham, but if someone from the dead goes to them, they will repent. Then Abraham said, If they will not listen to Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded if someone should raise or rise from the dead. This is a very strong message. It's Again, it, it's pointing out the importance of following Jesus and helping others over your, your own self-interests. Um, and uh, it also talks about how difficult it is for people that are absorbed in their own self-interests to do the right thing it, it, especially if it's harming people it and um it is it, it it can get it can be really hard i've i've had issues like that myself i think everyone else has it can be very minor it can be major things but you, you can't forget the importance of helping people Um, let's see, we're, we're going to go to the first reading again, because there was something interesting I wanted to point out with that. The, the top one is also very important too. 
there's lots of trustworthy people, but we are all just people. One way or another, sometimes, you know, we will fail you, but what it's stressing is that God will not. Everything he does is for the best for our our well-being, spiritually, which is the most important thing. If he didn't care about us, he would not have sent his son to die for our sins. And Jesus is amazing for doing so. Well, that's the reading for today. I hope you have a blessed day and a good day. And peace be with you.